Hello everyone, my name is Ahmad Qolav Razai. Welcome to this lesson. Uh, in this video, we talk about depths of field in V-Ray for Rhino. Uh, and uh, we have uh, an exterior project. For better understanding, we have this exterior project final result and we have uh, objects close to the camera are blurred and objects further away are in focus to have a depth of field in scene uh, we can click this button asset editor button in fact and I click uh, and open uh, camera reload and turn on uh, depths of field and uh, focus source uh, in focus source uh, I choose fixed point uh, fixed point uh, it allows you to choose anywhere in the scene as you can see uh, I choose uh, for example uh, this point for focus and and objects that are far from this point will be blurred and in another words objects far from the camera are the focus if increase the number of Defocus. We have, in fact, we will have a more blurry scene. For example, uh, 0 0.8, and as you can see, we have more blurry scene. As you can see, the scene is very blurry, and so I uh, think. Uh, 0 0.5 is more suitable so we wait for a while until the processing is more complete So, as you can see, the objects further away from the camera are blurred and if we want more blur, we can increase the, def the defocus number. So, um, other modes can also be used, for example, the fixed distance mode which is determined by distance and the higher value for fixed distance uh, the less blur and there are other topics related the, to uh, depth of field effect such as uh, F number, shutter speed, ISO, which we did not mention it in this short tutorial. We have covered them in full courses. Uh, now, uh, if you enjoy this video, uh, please uh, don't forget to push like, comment, and subscribe. And good luck to you.